Hey, my little munchkins, it's Jeffrey, and we are at one of St. Andrew's block houses. It was uh, created at the time of the War of 1812 between Great Britain and uh, the United States, as we can see from the sign here, that uh, it was from 1812 to 1815, and mostly on battlefields in present-day Ontario, Quebec, and several American states. In Atlantic Canada, the uh, the war brought about increased economic prosperity from trade and the spoils of privateering. And uh, when the war began, blockhouses like the one we're going to get closer to were uh, made to um, help protect uh, the shores from enemy privateers. And off this way, there's uh, the red rocks that during uh, low tide can walk out. And we'll take a look over here and see the cannons. Of course, these are non-functioning now. They would have uh, cemented up the holes and whatnot, but uh, they were able to turn a, a full uh, 360 degrees. And move back and forwards. Or I guess I tell a lie, not 360, but 180 degrees. There's the blockhouse, and off in the distance, you can see uh, Drew from Drew's Adventures. Do check out his channel. And the town of St. Andrews over there. There, so let's take a look closer at the blockhouse without me falling and giving myself a mischief. Earlier in the summer, they have guided tours of the blockhouse talking about the history and things, but looks like they are closed. So blockhouses are basically a fortified building and were designed for defense purposes with all kinds of areas that guns could stick out of and more cannons and things. And um, yeah. So the body of water that is here is the St. Croix River and um, the land on the other side of uh, Navy Island is uh, the United States. And when the War of 1812 broke out, citizens of St. Andrews had little to fear from their neighbors in Maine. Not everyone in New England was in favor of the war, and trade with Atlantic Canada was brisk. And around here, the main threat to security was from privateering, not invasion. And so despite the conflict, resolutions were passed on both sides of the border, declaring a local truce. And in 1814, though, the British in Halifax invaded northern Maine, which they occupied until 1818. And, yeah. 
And so the St. Croix River, it is uh, salt water to a point, so it'd be kind of brackish, I guess. And there. And shortly we will have another episode when we get further in town.